Hair Specialist. It's Black History Month and you know I wanted to base this video on a blog I wrote almost two years ago. Now we know that Black History is about celebrating and recognising and valuing the contributions of inspirational individuals and events from Black communities. Take my grandparents as an example of their generation. It's the 1950s and Britain's economy is suffering from high labour shortages. The British government looks overseas to the colonies for assistance and encouraged migration to fill their many job vacancies. Like hundreds of thousands from the Caribbean, South Asia and Africa, my grandparents answered that call. So they arrived in this country, but I wonder how many of them realised they would be pioneers. They had to go before us and break new ground. The ground or the circumstances they faced was hostile and ambivalent. They didn't have the protection of law that we have today. If they were called the N-word, there wasn't much recourse open to them. I imagine that many of them had to bite their tongues because they had children to feed. But here's the thing I love about this generation. Despite the difficulties and hardship, they were creatively created and they were resilient. Take, for example, they developed their own housing system. My grandparents rented out rooms in a house they owned to other families and when those families saved enough for a deposit, they bought their own homes. They also had a childcare system and a financial system called, remember, and it's still going today, partner. They also had cohesive community and an intelligent system. If you were up to something while out playing, out on road, News got back to them long before you did, before I did. They had social etiquette. Your greetings to adult better start with good morning or good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so. Now fast forward to 2005-2006. I'm attending the Breakthrough Conference hosted by the Department of Health along with a colleague. Delegates begin to share their experience of unfair treatment, injustice and discrimination with the team from the Department of Health. I literally felt their pain despite being seated some distance away from them. One of the delegates said she had to pay their, her own fee. My mouth dropped open because it was so cheap to go to this conference, 35 pounds. One of the team members from the Department of Health um, said who else had to pay their own fee? So he surprised tens of thousands sorry, tens, rather, <laughs> tens of delegates stand up. Immediately, he commits to them that they will be reimbursed. When I left that conference, my thoughts were not on discrimination, injustice or anything like that. No, I was sad. I thought to myself, the delegates had knowledge, skills and abilities they were not drawing on. For example, many of them could have formed a social enterprise and ran the services they were delivering. So what happened between the generation that came over in the 50s and 60s and the generations represented at the conference? These are my personal views. They have become despondent. They believed if they studied um, and worked hard, they would be rewarded. They became focused on the treatment they had received instead of strategizing a plan for the future. We need to remember that we stand on the shoulders of greatness. I don't know what your experience have been or how they've affected you. However, I do know that we stand on the shoulders of those who pioneered in the face of discrimination, who defied isms and schisms, showing courage, resilience and creativity. That legacy lives on. Today, I want you to dare to overcome. Dare to refuse discrimination to define you. Dare to refuse discrimination to hinder you. Dare to refuse discrimination to embitter you. Dare to throw off self-imposed or otherwise imposed limitations. Dare to believe you can and will achieve your dreams. And dare to strategize a plan for your future and execute it. Keep on daring. Dare to convert bias from a stumbling block to a stepping stone. Dare to return to school and apply for that job or promotion. Dare to overcome with grace, compassion and class. And as you dare, keep in mind that you didn't come this far just to come this far. Surpass isms, surpass schisms. Keep going and dare greatly. 
Someone is watching and waiting to stand on your shoulders. So journey well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And do remember, please be HR wise. Bye-bye.